Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today I am going to rank my top five favorite coasters at the Disneyland Resort from worst to best starting with number five obviously being the worst and number one being the best. Number five is going to go to Goofy Sky School. Goofy Sky School California Adventure is my worst favorite coaster, my worst coaster maybe my least liked coaster at the parks at the resort for multiple reasons one i'm a guy and you know in the middle area it it if you really uh don't pay attention those block breaks could really uh really give you some pain down there and i'm not the only one who's experienced pain down there as my other friends have as well um we learned with a block break block Block breaks for it and have a go, go accustomed to that. Also, the ride is just kind of an off the shelf carnival ride, so it's nothing, nothing special. There's nothing um, besides the goofy cutouts. There's nothing like special about it. Even when it was Mahal and Madness, there's just nothing special. It's an off the shelf wild mouse carnival ride type thing. But it's still it's still fun at times. One last thing, if you're tall, um, there's a portion, if you're sitting on the left side and you're tall, you might hit your head on a portion of the lift hill, which is, again, goes in the pain category. But nevertheless, Goofy Sky Soul is definitely still gets a few rides from me and it's, it's fun sometimes. Moving on to number four. Number four, Space Mountain. I absolutely love Space Mountain, but they're... The other coasters on this list I just love more. Um, Space Mountain is a classic, of course. It's so smooth. I love the onboard audio. And honestly, my personal favorite version of the attraction is Hyper Space Mountain. I know that's going to be a very unpopular opinion probably by most people that watch this video. But for ranking Hyper Space Mountain, that may jump up to number one on my coasters list at time. Definitely number two. Um at the very minimum but if we're going to classic space mountain definitely has to be number four i love the score and i love the overall track layout and how smooth it is but yeah hyperspace hyperspace mountain in my opinion is much 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 better um maybe because because you know you're placed in the middle of a space battle and it's just a really cool thing but space mountain is a classic but my other uh my other the other attractions on this list are just um better in my opinion and with that, let's head on over to number three. My third favorite coaster in the entire resort is Thunder Mountain. This, ever since I was a little child, has been bopping up and down between my favorite to number three. Some years it was my number one, some years it was number two, and it's popped up now to number three. Um, ever since I was able to experience my number one coaster, it moved Thunder Mountain down to number three. Absolutely adore this coaster. It is amazing. Obviously, it's an iconic Disney mountain like most of these, or like four out of the five of these coasters on here. But, or sorry, three out of the five. But this is just fantastic. I love the the Billy Billy Goat there. I love the final lift hill scene with the, the dynamite and the TNT going poof you know exploding all around you and just really fun close coaster and the good old uh, safety spiel R best remove them your hats and glasses it's the wildest ride in the wilderness you know i love it it's iconic it's classic um i've only been on the disneyland version the disneyland paris version was closed when i went to disneyland paris but that one looks absolutely amazing as well. That one looks like it could be the best one because it's in the middle of an island. And you go on like this extra tunnel on the way there on the way back. It's really cool. But yeah, Thunder Mountain at Disneyland and Frontierland. Iconic and one of my favorite coasters ever. And particularly on Thunder Mountain, I really like the the very back or the very last row. Um, definitely you pull some G's there, some more G's and some more laterals and it's faster in the back uh, especially on that double helix after the second hit lift hill it's faster on that side uh, on the mountain than on any other coaster car that I've experienced on that train um, let me know if you felt the same on 
on your rides in the comments below. But until then, let's get into our top two. Number two, coming up next. So honestly, this is actually kind of a tough decision because like I said, Thunder Mountain always bobs up and down between like two and three for me. But I had to give number two to the Matterhorn. I just had to do it. That is, every time I think about this ride and every time I go on this ride, it just puts a smile on my face. These shares are maybe not as intense as the other uh, ones on this list, but it's just so iconic. And I love the fact that um, you get to, at times, could race uh, race your other the other people on the other track and the other bobsled. That's really cool as well. It adds a more thrilling factor and excitement factor to the attraction. Um, but it's it's just an incredible ride. The the updates they usually, they have done to it. The I again I'm in favor of the new trains and no that's an unpopular and much unpopular opinion. Um, most people don't like the new trains. I love the new trains. I like um, Harold. He's massive and he's great. Um, I love the howling sounds and the tribute to Frank Wells on the at the end of the, at, at the first turn after the live till. It's just a great 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 ride um and i'm excited to ride that that's one of the first rides i'm definitely gonna ride and i've already planned to ride on my eventual return to disneyland disneyland in just a few months so i'm super excited for the matterhorn and i'm even more excited for this number one coaster which i'm sure all of you who are disneyland experts by now uh know what this coaster already is that's right, there's only one more coaster left on this list, and really only one more coaster in the resort <laughs> that I didn't go over. We are leaving, we're leaving out Gadget's Go Coaster in Toontown, because that's just a 32nd Junior Coaster. But the Incredicoaster, oh boy, especially at night. Nighttime rides on the Incredicoaster are so fun. Now, sure, they could have definitely upped the budget a little bit and took up and kind of upgraded something like the Jack Jacks on a stick, but... <laughs> I'm really talking about the coaster itself here, not the actual, not the theme. Although, I do love the lighting package on the tunnels. When the coaster train goes through the tunnels, the lights kind of move with it. I love that. But, forgetting that Incredibles overlay aside, California Scream and Slash Incredicoaster, the coaster itself is amazing with the launch to 0 to 55 miles per hour. The nice couple of drops and the loop. I've always loved that coaster. It's exhilarating, it's thrilling. The wind just blows in my face and my hair and it it just puts a big smile on all my friends' faces and it really gets the blood flowing. Um, second only to Guardians of the Galaxy, which really gets my blood flowing and which is honestly my favorite ride in the entire world. But in terms of coasters, the Incredicoaster definitely wins and especially again those night rides, especially because of the fire tunnel um, right after the loop before Violet cools you down. That stuff is just gold to me. It's just magic. But the, the ride itself, the launches, the 55 mile per hour speed, it's amazing. So those are my top five favorite coasters at the Disneyland Resort. Please definitely let me know your top five uh, coasters at the Disneyland Resort. Because I'm sure plenty of you will disagree with my list. But I'd love to have you list yours um, down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please press that thumbs up button to get even more videos like this and more cool theme park videos. And consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome daily theme park updates. But until then, have a fantastic day.